Did you know in alcohol commercials they can't actually drink the alcohol? Like if you watch the commercial, they'll like put the drink up to their lips or they'll be partying and they'll be having a good time getting drunk, but they can't actually show someone drinking alcohol in an alcohol commercial, which I think is telling of the entire industry, but it has nothing to do with the rest of this video. I just couldn't find a place to put that fact. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, all right, I enjoy boozing. I like a good white wine, a high noon, a Bud Light every once in a while. I don't really like beer. Craft beer, icky, ew, get that away from me. But let's all take a second and face the facts that alcohol is bad for you. Tucker, how could you say that? That's a completely new fact I've never heard about in my life. I thought alcohol was good for you. Burn the heathen. I mean, for real though. I mean, why do we keep drinking it? I, I, I'm gonna sound like a narc, but it's really bad for you. I mean, honestly, as a society, can't we get together and pick a drug that's not gonna make you fight your stepdad or hit a Jersey barrier going a buck 20 on the freeway? Why do we keep drinking at bars and parties to feel confident for a few hours and then the next day you literally feel like death? I mean, cost benefit analysis. Is it even really worth it at all? Even a little bit? I mean, Jesus Christ. That's good. This whole video I'm gonna be fighting the urge to sound like a youth pastor, but you're gonna to have to deal with it. Okay, so before we get into the science of how alcohol ravages your body like a viking on mushrooms, let's just break down the social reasons why it's a dumb idea. Number one, it, you're gonna make an ass out of yourself every single time. You might think you're not gonna, but you are gonna make an ass out of yourself. Oh, Tucker, I'm no chump. I can handle my liquor, says the person who cannot absolutely handle their liquor. If you said that out loud, this is what you look like, and I don't respect this person. For the rest of us, I mean, good lord, aren't we the worst? Aren't we the worst? when we're drunk. Talking loudly, oversharing, thinking you're hilarious, thinking you're James Bond when really you're just James Corden. And then you wake up the next morning and you feel like garbage and every social faux pas you made last night flashes in front of your eyes like a PowerPoint presentation made of knives. Just straight pain to the dome. And speaking of pain, let's talk about the, the, the financial pain that comes with drinking. I mean, if you're drinking at home, that's not too bad. You can get a six pack of Line and Googles for like 10 bucks and just, you know, have fun. But drinking at home is close to drinking alone and that's you know, historically not great. So you go out, you go out, you meet some folks, you try and have a good time in society, which is pretty hard without alcohol. You have a few beers and you get a little loose, you decide, oh, I'm gonna have to treat myself to a nice little cocktail. A little bit more expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. Flash forward to the point where you've lost all sense of monetary value because you're too drunk and you bought 17 cocktails and you are shit out of luck. I mean, I lose all sense of the value of a dollar when I'm drunk. I am, I am bad at that. And also, let's not kid ourselves, okay? Alcohol tastes yucky, doesn't taste good at all. Honestly, it's probably the most disgusting Thing and common thing a human adult puts in their body. Oh, but Tucker, you're just uncivilized, okay? You don't know the finer things of a nice $8 IPA with hints of chestnut and tinfoil in it. All right, Big Cat, maybe you do like a good IPA, but you're telling me you'd still drink that if there was no 8% alcohol by volume on it? I doubt that, I doubt that very much. I mean, real beer, not Bud Light, but real beer tastes like gross, stinky bread water, and wine tastes like a 2080 split of rubbing alcohol and vinegar, and booze, like straight up booze? I would never drink straight up vodka again in my life. College Tucker has made his mistakes and he has learned from them. I have nothing to prove anymore. It's okay that we drink just because, you know, it makes us feel fuzzy and forget about the horrors of reality. You don't have to pretend to be fancy when you drink. It's annoying, it's obnoxious. And also all the injuries. <laughs> Fuck. All the injuries that come with getting drunk. How often do people hurt themselves while they're hammered? I mean, how many videos of white women have you seen on a sidewalk just absolutely beef it? It's very common. I mean, let's not even include the statistics of, you know, car crashes, because that's not, this is a fun video, that's not fun. There's also this thing called nocturnal aneurys, I don't know how to say it, but it just means you piss yourself when you fall asleep when you're drunk, and shocking amount of the population does that. And it's weird that we don't talk about it. I mean, that's a big sciencey word for what this, this, this is. What I call it is Ben from high school syndrome. Ben, you ruined a lot of sheets in my house, and I had to kept explaining to my mother that the dog did it. That's fucked up. And the absolute worst thing about drinking is obviously the hangovers, but it, it's so common in society that we don't talk about how fucking horrible those things are. I'm gonna go into the science of hangovers in a little bit. We'll get to that, but let's just, you know, just think about it for a second. Oh, this generation's a bunch of pussies. Back in my day, we used to drink till six and then go to work at seven. Well, my generation's blood is half vape juice and half microplastics, so maybe we can't handle poison that much. We can't juggle all three of them. And I don't care, man. I cannot do hangovers. My I get such bad anxiety and my body feels swollen and it's it's just poison. I'm gonna, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna talk about the science of hangovers. <laughs> oh, fuck me. So alcohol is, well, I've said it before, it's like the worst thing you can put in your body. And once again, I'm sounding like the sexy dare line, you know, if only you can prevent forest fires, whatever the fuck he says, but you got, hear me out. Let's just look at the science of what alcohol does to your body and then you make the decision whether or not it's worth putting in your body. And you probably still will drink because you're a degenerate, but just fucking pay attention. So number one, alcohol is classified by the World Health Organization. 
Mm. Alcohol is classified by the World Health Organization as poison and also a class one carcinogen. It's cancer juice. Say it with me, everybody. Cancer, cancer juice. juice. That's right. So ignoring that scary tidbit of information, let's think about how your body processes alcohol. So when you drink alcohol, your liver breaks it down at a steady rate. And that's why nerds will tell you that you drink alcohol like one and a half drinks per hour so your body can handle it. But we're not fucking dorks. We're here to drink, baby. So when you drink to get drunk, you're just overpowering your liquor. Like three drinks an hour, that's going to make your liver go like, yo, dude, slow down. And you're like, no, you fucking pick up because we're going hard tonight. You're just kind of bum rushing your organs into letting you have a good time which is such an abusive relationship i'm surprised my liver is not on dr phil so after you hack your body's defense mechanisms your blood gets filled up with alcohol and it goes straight to your brain and slows down shit and also can kill brain cells but you now you're drunk baby now we now it's part uh oh drowning your little organs in the lore and lime juice added consequences who would have fucking fell in? drinking gets your blood pumping ladies and gentlemen and not in a good way not at all alcohol makes your blood vessels dilate and expand which makes your heart have to go into double overtime which makes everything fucky in your body and the heart rate effect can last up to five days five whole days and if you do it enough you can experience also these fun symptoms Huzzah! And the way this shit affects like the rest of your body is also no bueno. I mean, let's pretend you're an athlete. You're a fan of mine, so you're definitely not. But let's just pretend for the moment. You're in the gym pumping iron or you're on the field playing polo, whatever the fuck. You won't be back to your athletic peak for 28 days after you're drinking. That's how badly... Uh, <laughs> Alcohol affects your body. It can also cause hives, wheezing, sneezing, stuffy nose, diarrhea, weakened immune system, erectile dysfunction, diarrhea, dude. You poop a lot. And you might think, oh, I'll just get a good night's sleep after drinking and I'll be all bueno. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Alcohol does not let you sleep. Your brain is busy trying to scrub the poison off the sides of it like a, a cleaning lady with tickets to Harry Styles, AKA desperately and quickly. Therefore, it's not focused on you anymore, buddy. It's dealing with other shit. So you're not gonna hit one run cycle. You're not gonna get any of the restorative benefits of sleep. Sleeping. So you're just kind of laying there unconscious for a while, which means you didn't sleep. And it also causes nightmares sometimes. Alcohol causes nightmares. It's the worst. If there was a new disease, a new pandemic that caused the effects of hangovers on unwilling participants, we would all be lined up for that microchip vaccine. There would be no hesitation. It is a horrible, horrible thing to deal with. So I was a bartender, oh fuck, spilled my drink. So I was a bartender for five years and you can tell a lot about a person by the drink they order. And usually I would hate them. Everyone has a favorite cocktail, but the, there's a lot of them that means you're a trashy piece of shit. So just know that if you order these specific cocktails, you, you are garbage and your bartender is secretly judging you and they probably hate you. Number one, Long Island iced tea, you piece of shit. My landlord just knocked on the door to give me a key and I am shit housed at like two in the afternoon. All right, Long Island iced tea. You need seven different liquors in a drink? Do you need that? Do you need that to get going there? Boozy McBooze Hound? The problem with the Long Island iced tea is it sounds fancy, but it's not fancy. And the bartender has to run around opening up like six different bottles and it's just obnoxious. It's just fucking drink like an adult. Manhattan, ooh, ooh, we get it, dude. You're, you're a business conglomerate. That's not the word. You're fancy, you have business meetings, you wear ties, you got a belt probably. I mean, Manhattan only sounds fancy because it's called a Manhattan. You know what it's called a Manhattan? Because the ingredients are two things, then one thing, and then another two things, and that's the area code, 212 Manhattan. It's fucking, it, if it didn't have that name, it wouldn't be that fancy. And same goes for man, uh, old fashions. Old fashions are stupid. They, they're like Manhattan, but they're a little less classy, but people still think they're classy, so a college kid will order one because he thinks he's an adult. You're not, dude. It's it's not good. Especially if you get a Wisconsin one. What the fuck is going on over there? Then we have the category of the super duper trashy ass cocktails, and those are a league of their own. Grateful Dead's garbage can, zombie, adios, motherfucker, all of these dudes. Grow up, grow up. And I get the appeal of drinking a uh, thing that tastes like juice with 17,000 hidden liquors in it, but you know, let's not be a dick to the bartender, maybe. I don't want to serve you a a drink that's gonna get you drunk in two sips and then I have to get a stiffed on the tip because I told you you can't piss on the floor sir whiskey sours that's fucking gross why would you order that if you get the whiskey with the mix in it like the whatever normal whiskey sours have eggs in them I don't want to crack an egg as a bartender and that's fucking yucky why are you doing that I'm not a chef I don't got to get slime on my hand I don't want to fucking deal with that so you know just don't order that. Also, any type of bomb you degenerate, like the Vegas bomb, the orange bomb, the Jaeger bomb, uh, cherry bomb, what else, what, what are the disco bomb, whatever the fuck, you just grow up, dude. Are you 30 ordering that? Are you at a club? Are you at table bottle service, you pussy? Bunch of fucking losers. 
I don't think I can fucking finish this video. I'm gonna at least lay down for a little bit before I- Hi, baby. Hi! Oh my goodness, hello! I love you! So, I- I fucked up. I'm pretty painfully hungover. Um, and I, I shouldn't have did what I did, but, uh, I've given up on making that end of the video I really thought I was gonna make, and I've come up with a new idea. Since I am in currently the state of peril that I am, I thought that I would try a bunch of different hangover cures and see if any of them work. A lot of them seem pretty disgusting, but I'm here for the content, but if I puke, you're gonna have to just deal with that, okay? All right, so apparently in Puerto Rico, it's tradition to put, uh, lemons under your armpits. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. Apparently it's supposed to prevent the effects of dehydration and headaches. Will prevent or uh, stop? Guess I'm a little late to this, uh, but I did buy a lemon. So I'm just gonna go and put those under my armpit. Probably, I don't know how much lemon I should be putting. I'm not gonna put both these fucking chunks on my armpits, am I? Let's just do some classic slices. There we go. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, fucking number two. And there we go. Is it supposed to burn? Oh god, it's acidic. I forgot. Fuck, it hurts. Was I just supposed to put like a whole lemon under my armpit? Or like a slice? Oh my god, this is such a bad idea. All right, next up, what am I doing? We have the prairie oyster, which is an American uh, thing apparently. Worcestershire sauce, tomato juice, vinegar, and hot sauce. Well, that's just a Bloody Mary. With a raw egg instead of... So I'm going to I'm going to do that on camera for you guys now. So I just bought Bloody Mary mix instead of all the specific ingredients because um, I didn't want to buy all those things. And also this isn't going to work. So what's the fucking point? So we'll just go ahead and fill this up right to the little Massachusetts thing, I guess. There we go. Should I put ice in this? Ah, oh, fuck. It doesn't matter. And then we have one egg. Huzzah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what daddy likes. Yeah, absolutely. I can't. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I can't do like snot shit. I can't do like boogers. There we go. Nice. That's what I want to see. I mean, it doesn't look too different from where it was. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get the balls because it touched my lips and that's it made me almost gag. It's so chunky. Mm. Okay, we're good. We're fine. That was almost a thing, but it wasn't. Uno, dos, tres. Oh. That didn't work. There is no lining in this bucket either, if you can't tell. So that's great. So go ahead, guys. Go ahead and drink. Go ahead and uh, ruin your lives by, by, by accepting society standards of what drug you can do. I think we should bring back opium dens. That's what I think, opium. L like, comment, and subscribe. Hi, kitty. <clears throat> Hi, baby, how you doing? New videos every Friday. Tune in, because it gets wild around here.